We've known for a long time that our system of early care and education isn't working. We know change is needed so that all children and families have equitable access to the highest quality early learning experiences. We recognize that those who work with young children must be valued, respected, and well compensated. At the national level, the Power to the Profession initiative envisions a future system in which each and every child beginning at birth has the opportunity to benefit from high quality early childhood education delivered by an effective, diverse, well-prepared, and well-compensated workforce across all states and settings. According to Power to the Profession, these elements are necessary to build the public will to invest in early childhood education, significant workforce involvement, collaboration among national stakeholder groups, national scope, based on brain science, and consistent with components of other professions. In our state, the Vermont AEYC Task Force is engaging our workforce at every step as we explore Power to the Profession's unifying framework as a possible blueprint for creating a new system. So, we are envisioning a different future, and we're building the bridge to get there. When people build a real bridge, it doesn't just appear. You need architects to visualize it and engineers to design it and construction workers to build it. You need time, supports, and investments. And you need a temporary bridge to get people across in the meantime. That's why the task force supports Power to the Profession's idea of phased-in implementation as we advance early childhood education as a recognized profession. We appreciate the commitment to honoring the existing and future workforce. This project is led by a task force made up of people in the early childhood education workforce, like me. I'm the director of the Bennington Early Childhood Center. I'm the director of early education for the Burlington School District. I own and operate Imagination Island, a family child care program in Milton. I've worked in early childhood education throughout my career. Today, I'm a preschool teacher and I'm on the faculty of the Community College of Vermont. Phased-in implementation keeps the bridge sturdy for us, and it makes the journey smoother for early childhood educators of the future. Let's remember there's a scientific reason for why early education is so important. Early education is critical for healthy development. During their early years, children's brains form billions of brain connections. So high-quality programs, led by caring educators trained in early childhood learning and brain development, create environments for imaginative play, discovery, problem solving, and joy. This is a rich foundation for all the skills our children need to grow into socially and emotionally adept, curious, resilient people. Not just anyone can do the work that fulfills this noble purpose. It requires mastery of specialized skills and competencies. By ensuring we are all well prepared for our roles as leaders, supporters, and guiders, and by holding ourselves and each other accountable for ensuring key outcomes for young children, we can ensure quality and improve equity in our children's early learning experiences. In a future system where responsibilities and compensation increase as expertise increases, we can honor our existing workforce and embrace our future workforce. To do this, we need supportive, phased-in implementation. It's time to start building that bridge our way. Phased in with plenty of supports. What are we building toward? Power to the Profession calls it our audacious vision for the profession of tomorrow. Here's what that looks like. Every child birth through eight across all settings is supported by early childhood educators with recognized early child degrees and credentials. Early educators at all professional designations are valued, respected, and well compensated for the important roles they play. Educators with lead responsibilities across settings and age bands are prepared at the Early Childhood Educator 3 designation. Anyone who wants to become an early childhood educator at any designation has equitable access to affordable, high-quality professional preparation and development that supports them in developing the agreed-upon set of knowledge, skills, and competencies needed in any setting. 
Early childhood educators at all designations are well compensated in accordance with the complex and demanding work that they perform. Let's start building. 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 Let's start building.